Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have square root of x plus x is equals to 2 and we solve this problem for all the values of x and at the last we will check that uh, which one of the roots of this equation has extraneous root and which of these roots are solution of this equation. So here uh, the very first thing we are going to do is here first we need to uh, remove this square root sign from this term. For this we first move this plus x to the right hand side and after moving this to the right hand side it will be written as square root of x is equals to this is 2 and this is plus x becomes here minus x. And further in the next step we need to take the squares on both of the sides in order to eliminate this square root sign. So we take scaling on both of the sides and it will be written as this is 2 minus x whole square. And further in the next step you see here this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here x is equals to in the right hand side we use here the nice algebraic formula you know about that uh, if we have a minus b whole square it is equals to a square minus 2 times of a b plus b square so we need to use this nice formula to the right hand side of the bob equation and you see here this value is our a and this value is our b so when we uh, apply this nice formula to the right hand side of this equation it will be written as first we have a square here our a is 2 square minus 2 times of a b so 2 times of a is 2 and b is x plus b square so b is our x square and further in the next step we need more simplifications here and it will be written as x is equals to here 2 square becomes 4 minus this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4x and plus this x square is written as it is. And now here further in the next step we move all the terms to the right hand side uh, because this is the quadratic equation but not into the standard form so that we write this into the standard form that's why we move this x to the right hand side and you see here this is the plus x when we move in the right hand side it will become minus x and it will be written as this is x square minus 4x and this is plus 4 and this plus x becomes minus x and this whole equation is equals to 0. And uh, further in the next step we need to add or subtract the like terms and we have this is x square and this minus 4x and minus x becomes here minus 5x and this is our plus 4 and this whole equation equals to 0. So you see here this is this equation will become quadratic equation in x variable and we know that there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation. Uh, the first method is factorization method and the second method is completing square method and the third one is uh, by applying the quadratic formula. So here we easily make the factors of this equation so we need to break its middle term. So our middle term is minus 5 and we write this minus 5 as minus 4x and minus x. Okay, we break its middle term and this is our plus 4 is equals to 0. And now here further we need to take common x from the first two terms. When we will take common x we get here the remaining values are from here we get x minus from here we get 4. In the same pattern we will take common minus 1 from here and we get x minus 4 is equal to 0. And now in the next step uh, you see here x minus 4 is lies on both of these terms so that we will take common x minus 4 and after taking common x minus 4 we get the remaining values are from here we get x minus from here we get 1 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and 
here we break this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x minus 4 equals to 0 and the second case is we write x minus 1 equals to 0 so from this case we easily get the value of x is equals to 4 and from this case we easily get the value of x is equals to 1 so these are the two roots of the given equation and now further in the next step we need to verify these two roots and we check that is these two roots are satisfied our given question statement or not so for verification of the roots uh, first we need to copy down the given question statement here and the given question statement is square root of x plus x is equals to 2 and now first we will verify the root that is x is equals to 4 and uh, we put x equals to 4 in the left hand side and we check the behavior of this equation is uh, this value of x is satisfied our given equation or not so uh, we put this value in the left hand side and after substituting this it will be written as square root of 4 plus 4 is equals to 2 and this implies that uh, we know that a square root of 4 is equals to 2 plus this is square this is the 4 only and we check that is this equals to 2 or not and further we have this is 2 plus 4 becomes here 6 and you see here 6 is equals to 2 so this is not possible because 6 is not equals to 2 so you see here when you use x equals to 4 both of the sides are not equal this means that uh, x is equals to 4 is the uh, extraneous root of the given equation because we know that extraneous root is the root that is not satisfied our given question statement and 4 is not satisfied our given question so it is called the extraneous root and in the same pattern uh, we will verify our second root and our second root is x is equals to 1 so we substitute x is equals to 1 on both of the sides of the given equation and uh, our given equation is square root of x plus x is equals to 2 so when you put this value here it will become square root of 1 plus 1 is equals to 2 and we know about that the square root of 1 is equals to 1 plus this is also 1 is equals to 2 and finally we have 1 plus 1 becomes 2 is equals to 2 so this shows that the value of x is equals to 1 is satisfied of a given question statement so x is equals to 1 be the only root of the given equation and this is the, our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos